Hello people, it's Blitz here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Blitz Gaming. We're back on Star Trek. And we're doing search for New Romulus. We've got to go to the Galorian core system. Which is top right. This one looks on the map. And all we've got to do is scan it. Well, it looks like it. So we arrived. Let's see what we've got to do. Not a lot. Looks like we've just got to send a satellite and move on to the next one. We'll speed this bit up. This ship's not particularly fast going through uh, space. Especially I ain't got a slip screen drive. So we've got to scan this one too. Mm. We can't get a clear reading from the planet that Tamer specified. Our best option will be to drop out of warp and investigate the area. Are you ready? Always ready. All ready. Nausicaan ships, dead ahead. They were jamming our sensors. That's why we couldn't get a clear reading on this area. It's an ambush. They're hailing us. Probably to gloat. Pirates like these only care about scrapping the ship for parts and selling any survivors to the Orions. Should I open the channel? We'll get a good price for your ship. Even if it's in pieces. Well, we do put up the best fight, don't we? It is more challenging and more fun. It's not Tall Shiar, it's the Nausicaans. What's next? Iconians? We were able to get a few scans of the planet during combat. It's no good. The wildlife is too hostile and the natural resources too few. That leaves us with one last system. 
the Daywa system. Daywa 3 shows some promise. We can leave orbit whenever you're ready. Damn, those two pairs were nasty. It's not tall shards. We're just doing the old mini game. Uh, what do you want to call it? A mini game. Basically, picking up um, some resources for crafting at a later date. And to do it, you've got to do this mini game. Basically, uh, there's three types of it. On this one, you just line up the lines with each other using the keys, and you collect it. If it's not tall, sharp. Okay, to the next system. So we're off to the Dawa 3 system. While we're flying through space, uh, you can see how many missions you've got to do uh, as a Romulans. It's quite a few. It's about six, seven. And you can replay them as it shows there over and over again. You don't get the, uh, the EC or the, the same amount of dilithium as they were given dilithium before, but you usually get the same items back. And if you're a higher level, you actually get a higher version of it as well. Sometimes you, as you cut, get towards it, it doesn't actually come up with the planet name, and you've got to fly the opposite side or fly the top of it, and it'll suddenly appear. So you can enter the system. It's a bit of a bug for some odd reason. Some planets come up really quick and some don't want to come up at all. We have confirmation of a suitable planet. I'm patching us through to Tamer now. He want an update on the situation. I'll connect you as soon as you're ready. So we're going to the system. Looks like we found one. At last. Daywa 3. This could be the new Romulan homeworld. The radiation levels of this planet made it uninhabitable. But long range surveys have detected drops in the toxicity over the past few years. Our orders are to deploy sensory probes to scan the planet. And if they return positive, beam down for a closer look. There's all sorts of resources you can find throughout the systems. Um, when you go to the system, you press V, and then uh, you will be able to tell you which direction they are. Now you just got to drop some probes in the locations, and hopefully everything will go as planned. A real warrior never lets his prey escape. Really? You tracked us all the way to a new system? Rear shields failing. I 
The Norsicans first appeared in Star Trek Enterprise, the Fortunate Son episode. Also, they are, are a playable race if you play on the Klingon side. I have not said before, you want to try and keep away from the explosions because they will blow your ship up. And if you look there, we've still got the old singularity core maximised, so if they turn up again, we can make, make use of that as an AOE. I hope that's... Nausicans. I hope that's the last we've seen of them. The reports from the probes confirm that radiation levels have lowered on the planet. An away team without protective gear should be safe. There don't seem to be any civilizations down there either, but we'll have to beam down to explore the area further. Are you ready to transport? There are several teams that will beam down to other parts of the planet while we explore. This place. It's beautiful. Our orders from Tamer are to analyze the local wildlife, flora, and minerals, as well as any bit of radiation. If your V key is not working, you can always use your mouse, um, little tab there on the left hand side of the minimap, second button up from the uh, missions, or third button down, that also does the same thing. Console owners, I've got no idea how to use your controller. There is a timer on the mini games. I don't know if you, if you fell, if you still get the item or not. I never actually fell, <laughs> so I can't actually say what happens if you fell. You can holster and draw your weapon with the H key.
as a gardener in real life I have to say I can't recognize any of these plants they're not in a RHS database This plant displays remarkable similarity to plants once found on Romulus. It's quite a colourful place, I have to say. Stun these beans. These funny looking tigers. Maybe he's stunned, he's too low. I take a lot of damage to get rid of him, I have to say. Fascinating. The water is barely tainted by the planet's radiation. Well, I don't plan drinking it until it starts glowing. Only looking octopus. The high amount of lead in these rocks could be the reason for the lowered radiation levels. We have to stop the Tal Shiar. Some people just can't wait. All you got to do is wait five minutes. Actually, this is a big planet. I could be here for a long old time. I am detecting ancient and dilapidated structures nearby.
This fern seems to be resistant to the ambient radiation on this planet. It could be useful in treating radiation sickness. Nearly done. Can't be that many left now. One more to go. Looks like one more mineral water to find. Or sample. There she is. Scan one more, one more radiation level. We should investigate that old bridge nearby when we're done with our scans. Well, if there's a bridge, that means there must be a civilization nearby, or there was one many, many moons ago. What's that? Tholians. What are they doing here? Tholians. Just what we needed. Tholians are known for not caring very much about us humanoids. I don't think they even know the difference between a Romulan and a Riemann. The ship isn't detecting any more Tholian ships in orbit, but with our luck, that'll change. We should see what those Tholians are after. If this is going to be our planet, they can't take it from us. Folians have first appeared in the original Star Trek episode, The Folian Web. So let's go and find these Folians. Tholians seemed interested in those rocks back there. Should we check it out? Watch out! More Tholians inbound! Sir, why are they so interested in this site? No idea. We'll find out once we have a second. Enemy 
One more group inbound, and it looks like they're sending one of their commanders. Tholians wanted whatever is buried in those rocks. Let's see what's beneath them. I need gold, gold. No, I don't need gold. I've got a replicator. I can replicate gold. There appears to be a sword. Fossilized in the secretion layer. The Toshiar is advancing on our allies. I'm trying to make the best of this. Okay, turn the thing up. Shoot some fighting in starships. We have to stop the Tal Shiar. You know, Fodians have this power capability. I put a big cage around you with a web or got your path, and you, you can click on certain parts of it um, and, sh and shoot it, and it will just start disappearing or just fly around it. Unless you're in the cage, that is, then you have to blow your way out, but it does disappear after a period of time if you can survive in there long enough. Counting on you. Come <laughs> on. 
have new orders for you. Okay, so we've got to return to the flotilla base camp, see the town. So back on base, let's go find the boss. Check on the map, top right hand corner. Gonna take a shortcut. I'll try to take a shortcut. Just wanna use the merchant. So some of our junk we got. We've got quite a bit of it now. When you get so many levels, by the way, you get some more inventory space. Um, it does come to an end. And got to buy some with Zen at a later date if you want any more inventory space. The same with the bank. If you want more bank space, you've got to have got to spend Zen to get more bank space. And that's actually that's not account wide. When you buy bank spaces or inventory spaces, that's only for your character you're playing. So remember that. do have the ability to update your weapons and items but we won't do it at this moment in time it's a bit pointless since we're still leveling we'll wait to level 65 then we'll ch start changing our items to suit our, our style of play Jolan True, you found something incredible. This will be the new home of the Romulan Republic. It will be Mole Rehan, new Romulus, and we will create a new way of life there. This is exactly what we needed to begin talks with the Klingons and the Federation at Kittimer. Unless you have any more questions, I would report it to Mayor. I have many preparations to make. We will need allies to help with the colonization. It's likely that the Federation will be willing to help with this. We also cannot settle on New Romulus without the goodwill of the Klingons, given how close we are to their space. If they would be willing to lend us a small portion of their military might, we would be safer from the Tal Shiar. After that, if Empress Sela continues her attacks, she will be doing it against a new civilization, not a band of rebels. That will make all the difference. We don't know yet, but we do know it is as old as the Sundering and uses materials like those of the Vulcan Swordmasters, so that narrows it down a bit. The Sundering tore our people apart, but it also unified the Romulans under a common cause, the preservation of our emotions and our freedom. If this is truly the sword of the Raptor Star, it could help to once again unify the Romulans under the cause of preserving the freedoms we hold dear.
I'm not afraid of the Tal Shiar. Just need to collect our reward from the last mission. We haven't got a choice of which item we will take. We will take the beam weapon at this time. Because we got um Congratulations, Congratulations. We've got another beam weapon already. And it's so far so good. So now we're just getting our next mission, see what we've got to do. Next one gives us a new ship. Sounds good. So let's go to Romulus. New Romulus, that is, and pick up our new ship. So we've landed here. Quick look around. We have to stop the Tal Shiar. So we get our new ship. Then we go and do that new mission over at Kitama. And we got to join the Klingon Empire. Or we join the Federation as an alliance. You can't you cannot play um, the Romulans as your own entity. A P, I'm not quite sure. Well, in my opinion, they should never have followed the, uh, the Kelvin timeline. But they have, so we've got to put up with it. So this is Shuttle Bay. When you come to the planet, you should get two options. One to go to uh, the embassy and one to go down to the planet. When you go to the planet, uh, if you walk up to the building, and then you'll be allowed to enter this building here. Now, I don't think the embassy building uh, tab comes up unless you're in a fleet. So we've got a choice of two ships, three different designs. Uh, one we've got to pay with Zen, and one we obviously get for free. We get the free version. So I don't buy it. I can't see the point buying a ship, uh, a low level ship. I think it's a bit pointless. I mean, at the end of the day, you can actually use the low level ship all the way through until 65 upwards if you want to. Uh, but it's going to be hard, hard going gameplay. Not saying it can't be done. You're going to miss out on a lot of consoles and a lot of firepower. And mostly you're going to miss out a lot of armour um, on your ship. So we've just got to pick a design we want. And by the way, if you're in a fleet, uh, this is the same area where you get your science con consoles from. They're the best consoles in the game. Tactical consoles come from uh, the mining station, I think, or the Fleet Star Base, one of the two. So if you want the best weapons, best armour, best consoles in the game, you've got to be in a fleet. And you can't just join a fleet and buy items. Uh, they won't let you uh, make sure you uh, pay the fleet money in the lithium, EC, other items. And it gets credited, and when you get to a certain amount, Unless you obviously build your own fleet, that is. Um, then you find that the uh, people who run the fleet will allow you to buy items out of their, their resources. I will suggest 
not making your own fleet unless you just want bank space uh, because it will cost you a fortune in delithium EC other items and we're talking about millions and when you talk about delithium you can easily buy yourself three four five starships at T6 and fit them out with all the goodies the time you'll build your, your base up to for, for an amount so you're just better off joining someone else's fleet I just realised I've got to do something I've got a new ship and I'm not using my new ship uh, to use your new ship you've got to beam back down I've rather got to beam back down and you've got to go to the ship manager if you've got the old ship so we go back down to the flotilla to the ship manager wherever he may be you can find him somewhere Now for the Federation, the ship manager is on ESO, the Klingons is on Kronos, and the Romulans is around here somewhere. This is the one we need. So let me click on that ship, and see use it, this ship, and you see basically all our weapons usually always automatically go over to the new one. It doesn't always happen. It depends if you've got room in your inventory. Because what it does, it removes all the, the stuff you don't want into your inventory. And if you ain't got the space, it just leaves it there until you've deleted it all. So now we've just got to go through what we've got from the last mission. See what I'll add to this ship. So that, I've got two dual phases now in the front. So that's double the firepower. Checking the torpedo. Torpedo 3. Again, this ship's designed for attacking. It's more of a tactical uh, vessel. It's not really a science ship. And we've only got one science console slot. But we don't have a choice. There wasn't an option to actually have a science ship. Now for the Federation, would have had a choice of three, uh, engineering ship, tactical ship, and science ship. Yeah, so don't forget to upgrade your ships as you're playing. I've also got their fire at will you see there for the tactical officer we we'll give that to the tactical officer and when we use that all our beams will fire all at the same time and mobile targets does loads of damage it also uh, gets the enemy all to shoot at you so now we're on the customization screen As we've done with the last ship and you see slowly we get more and more items to go through as we got the tiers again we could spend all day going through i'm not that worried again we've got the zen there let's make sure we don't click on the zen item there so you come up red, obviously put the ship where I need is in, and I ain't got no in. Not enough to, uh, to buy a T6 ship.
Let's take a look at the advanced screen. This is where you can actually change the shape of your ship. You can mix and match between three different designs. It goes on and on. Like I said, you can spend all day here. And again, you've got to watch this then. But we won't change nothing. We'll just leave it as it isn't. Okay, while we're here, you see we've got that tactical um, item as well, fire will. And it's now been added to our tactical officer. So let's beam up and get on the way to the next mission. I will leave it there. And I will see you in the next episode. Have fun all. Bits out.